This is Beryl from the Hardy County Library, and I am going to be showing you a quick little tutorial on how to cover these hardback books with the removable sleeves. So the first thing that you're going to need is your book and paper. It comes in a variety of sizes. These are the ones that we use the most, 9, 10, and 12. So the first thing you got to do is take the cover off, find the one that matches the size the best, it's this one. And cut it a little bit, a little bit extra. It'll look like that. Okay, so step number one is we're going to take the sheet, we're going to take the cover, we're going to put the cover underneath the sheet with the top facing the plastic. And then you're going to put it all the way to the end, all the way here. Flip it over. And we're going to need a ruler now. So you take the ruler, you put it right up to the edge of the cover. And then you take a pencil or a pen or whatever and you mark off a line for where to cut and then move the cover a little bit so it doesn't get chopped take your scissors Oops, i don't like those scissors these scissors you're gonna cut on the line. So your next step is you're going to put the cover right back up to the edge here. Flip it over. Make sure it is lined all the way up on the other side. And you're going to do it again on this side. You're going to take the ruler. You're going to put it right up to the edge. You can't see it here. I'm gonna bring it closer. What you're doing is gonna put the ruler right up to the edge when it's flat, and then mark down that line. Oh, I wrote on the table a little bit, and that's why we did pencil. Okay, so. Now we're going to move this over a little bit. We're going to cut on that line we just drew. Okay, so now it should be equal on both sides. So what we're going to do is line it up. Make sure it is even with the bottom. Even with the bottom. And then the open side should be at the top. We're gonna flip it over. And as you can see, there are little perforations. You pick one that is below where the cover is. So make sure it is even. Pick a perforation. Hold it along the perforation. So now, I'm just going to make sure it is all tucked in there neatly. We're going to flip it over. So now everything should be lined up. We're going to take some just regular clear tape, fold this plastic part away from you toward the bottom, and then crease it. We're going to tape along the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to make sure it's facing the right direction. So, right down the cover is facing me. We're going to take the other part of the book, make sure the text is going in the right direction. See, it's not. I'll flip it over. 
Let's put it down here. Hold it back in like it was before. And we're gonna take book tape and we're gonna book tape it in four spots. One, two, three, four. This is the brand of book tape that I prefer here at the library. Um, we have three sizes. We tend to use the one and a half inch the most. I like to buy it from the library store. I find that that's the cheapest option. The library store is also where you purchase the, um, the open edge book covers. So that plastic slash paper situation. So what we're doing here is we're taping this flap to the book with book tape. We'll do that for each one. I'm try to do this so you can see it. It just goes in like that, attaches to the outside of the book, and it comes in and go like that. And now it's done. And you can make a mark on it, indicating that it's a new book. However your library does it, we use these stickers with the month and year on them. So this one just needs to be checked in. Double check that the spine is correct and that it is in the right spot. And then it can go out on your new arrival shelf.